your belief will brighten you. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 13. Then Jesus said to the Roman officer, Go back, because you believed it has happened. And the young servant was healed that same hour. The text pictures an amazing incident that happened during the times of Jesus. A Roman officer was concerned about his servant since he was sick to the point of death. It is indeed interesting to note that the officer was worried about his attendant. He did not think that with his power and authority he could hire out another servant even if something worse could happen to him. He was alarmed about his condition and found that the healing power of Jesus was the only resolve. So he decided to meet with Jesus and seek help to restore his favorite servant. However, when he met Jesus, Jesus consented to go with the man to his home and heal the sick man. The Roman officer refused Jesus' visit home since he was unworthy to have him under his roof and he went one step ahead and said he was a man of authority and when he commands, all his officers obey him. He declared Jesus had authority over everything and therefore if Jesus could say a word, his servant would be healed. Jesus marveled at his faith and did so and at the very moment, the servant was restored to good health. Two things stand out in this incident. One, the officer's genuine love for his servant who slogged for him tirelessly. Two, his humility to plead Jesus for his favor for the sake of a servant. If you are a person in authority, what is your belief? Do you believe, respect and consider the one who serves you? Would you go out of the way to seek help for your subordinates who trusts you and serves you? If the answer is yes to these questions, your belief will brighten your day. On the contrary, if the answer is no, you are worse than a savage. Your belief will brighten you. Amen.